practicing the all-time famous buy low, sell high. So whenever we see uh, stocks that are really low, we try to buy them off. And then when they get higher, we obviously sell them. And if we have a stock that we've already bought but it's going down, we wait until it's higher to sell instead of panicking and selling it when it's low. All we're doing is, you know, teamwork and Juan is telling me the uh, change, the percentage change, and then the other one is going and getting the tips. I am doing kind of the calculation. And we're just, you know, taking our time and not actually uh, thinking too fast and we're just, you know, buying a, a, a shares little by little and that's how everything's going. We, we're, we're going with the buy low, sell high and our high stocks right now, get rid of them and then wait for the hot tip and then buy into it so then we can make a great income. Just buying what's on the hot tips mostly, just going through. We had a good initial stock and they just did out really well and they just had a lot of starting cash. One of the big benefits we get is active learning and like we get to learn how to do this now so we can apply it later to our future after we graduate and we become adults and have a job. And it's like in the classroom we're learning about like, uh, we're through a JA, a junior achievement, and so we're learning about different stocks and uh, the risks, high risk and low rewards and that kind of stuff. Definitely, they were all talking about GDP during the break and we talk about that a lot in economics and so it's nice that they're starting to see how the um, production of our country affects how the market may or may not move and they're planning around the things that they're hearing that we talk about in class. Real world application, um, I think a lot of our students are getting a great feel uh, for what it's actually like, the high speed, um, energetic atmosphere that the stock market brings and it looks like uh, they're having a great time. Three, two, one.